Hello guys, my name is Joe Brekfo and welcome back in a new tutorial. This time I'll show you how to make a big room break. But before I start doing it, I want to tell you a few things. First I show in this video the simple way to make a break. The result won't be a masterpiece, but it will still help you to know how to do it with melodies, layering and mastering. And this break doesn't have anything to do with the drop tutorial I did before. It's a new thing made especially for this tutorial. Anyways guys, we'll jump into it, I hope you'll enjoy, and learn something new. The first thing you need to do, is select a good pluck. But, now you open the piano roll and you start making a melody. Don't forget that you can use a scale, to help you find the right notes for your melody. Now start creating your lead, then add chords. Here is what I did, the main melody is at the top, then there is a second melody, that is for the harmonic and finally the last is there, to add an atmosphere to the whole. Now find the second synth to layer the first plug. I'll choose this one. But as you can hear, it's not a plug, so I'll make it myself. Here it is, now I can make the second layer. Now search for a new pluck for the last layer. Here it is, now copy the melody and the layer as well. Ok now we'll mix all of them. Put each of them into a mixer track, and follow what I do. Now that we hear them all clearly we can put that melody in the playlist. To give power to the break, we'll create a cute off automation for the three layers. Follow what I do for one of them. There we are, and because my CPU is dying, because of these automations I'll render that part for the rest of the tutorial. Ok, now we'll choose a bass and we'll add it to the break. Put the notes like this, and change their note, so they are the same as the ones at the second line of the chords. Put that bass in the playlist, after we'll mix it. Insert it in a free mixer track, open an equalizer, remove the whole frequencies and boost the low ends. 
After that turn its volume down a bit. Great. Now search for a pad to add an atmosphere to the hole. It's pretty important. Otherwise the brake will sound empty. With this pad, create some chords using the bass line. The lowest note of the chords has to be the note of the bass line. Here it is, now put it an octave higher, put it in the playlist, and in a new mixer track. In the mixer track you turn its volume down, so it's in the background. Then you open an equalizer, you remove the low frequencies, and you boost the high ends a lot. Now search for a new synth to make some big chords in the second part of the break. Copy the melody of the plucks and paste it in the synth. Make the notes longer to increase the intensity. Now increase the attack of the chords, then put it in a new mixer track, open an equalizer, remove the low frequencies and boost the high frequencies. Turn the volume down a bit if necessary, and put it in the playlist. Now search for a high bass, that will fill the mid-low frequencies. Create the same notes as we did for the sub bass, and put it in the playlist. Put it in a new mixer track, turn its volume down, open an equalizer, boost the low frequencies, and a bit of the mid-high frequencies. Make sure that every sound is in the mixer track, put them in a single track to sidechain them. Search for a lead, to make the melody louder. Copy the melody of the chords and paste it in this lead, then make some changes, to make it more interesting. After that put it in a new mixer track, open an equalizer, cut the low ends, and boost the mid-high frequencies. Now add a kick, claps, rides and mix them. Make sure that everything is sidechained only when the kick hits. For that create an automation clip that you turn all the way up at the second part of the break. But now add some impacts, exhausts, sweeps up and mix everything. Copy and paste them in the second part of the break, then in the mixer track put the FX's in the track of the side chain.
Now create these effects, reverse them and put it at the beginning, and in the middle of the break. So yay, the break is pretty much done. If you did something like me, you should get a result like this. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope you learned something new and you enjoyed. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.